Hey guys, it's Julia here and today I want to share with you my thoughts on the Saint Laurent tote bag that I got a few years ago. Since then, it's been serving me very well, it holds up amazingly well, it still pretty much looks brand new. The bag is made from supple calf leather and comes with some impressive features. When it comes to design, the bag is unstructured and has flat leather handles, making it comfortable to carry even when it's fully loaded. It's also very light and that's pretty important because I had some other similar bags that were very heavy. This one's very comfortable and very light. The removable leather encased metal charm adds a touch of elegance to the overall design. The bag has a magnetic snap closure that ensures your belongings are secure. I particularly love the gold tone hardware which gives it a classic and timeless look. The size of the bag is perfect for everyday use. It measures 37 by 28 by 13 centimeters, so it's roughly 15 by 11 by 5 inches, and the handle drop is 23.5 centimeters. It's spacious enough to fit all of your essentials. I never had any issues fitting everything I need in this bag. I took it to work every day, I took it on a plane, and I was always able to fit everything I needed, also including my 16-inch MacBook Pro. And it also comes with a removable zip pouch that you can use to keep your credit cards or just smaller items that you don't want to lose. The bag is made out of a durable leather, so it's gonna be long-lasting, and since it's online, it will give you more relaxed and casual look. In my last video that I did on this tote bag, a lot of you have asked me how this bag is holding up and if I still use the Kuyana insert with it, and yes, I still do. It's probably one of my favorite accessories that I got for this bag. It's super high quality and keeps all of my items neatly organized, so I always know where everything is and I mean I love this Saint Laurent bag I do but I do wish it would come with at least one pocket that's one of the cons there's zero pockets well it does come with a little flat pouch which is very nice and fancy but uh, you can only keep very small items in it and that's pretty much it and another con is that if you do not use an insert like Kuyana then the inside of the bag gets a little messy since it's made out of suede. It does attract dust, so you gotta keep the sticky roller around and clean it from time to time. You can try vacuuming it, I, I did. I also have a Celine bag that has the same suede insert and it's very hard to keep it clean but if you use the Kuyana insert then you don't have to worry about it because it's made out of leather so it's very easy to keep clean you can just wipe it clean and it's done so yeah that's that's a tip for you if you don't want to clean the insert of the bag just get an insert like the one from Kuyana and that's probably gonna solve all of your problems another question that I got was about the size of the Kuyana insert and I did buy two sizes I got the small size and I got the regular size and I decided to keep the regular size mostly because I liked how it looked. It added structure to my Saint Laurent bag. That's something you may like, you may not, but I did like it. And it also gave me a lot more pockets. So I just decided to keep the regular size. But if you're interested in the small size, this is how it looks. I still think it looks pretty good, but again, personally, I prefer the regular size. I also got another question from Julia. She asked, does the leather scratch or get greasy from wearing lotion on bare arms very easily? I am looking for a luxury tote to wear as a diaper bag. Well, personally, I use a lot of hand lotion. I reapply it throughout the day and I haven't noticed my bag getting dirty from it. Although I did spill avocado cells inside of my bag once at work and I was able to wipe it clean, no problem. It doesn't smell and you can't really tell it was ever dirty. No issues with scratches so far, and it's been a few years. I would say it's a very high quality bag. It's definitely holding up much better than some of my previous tote bags. And another question from Michelle. I'm looking at this bag, it's beautiful, but I've seen negative reviews on Nordstrom about the wear and tear. Some reviews are saying it begins to peel on the corners. Can you do an update on how it's wearing? So, like I said before, my bag looks pretty much brand new still. I've been taking care of it. I'm 
notorious for taking care of all of my staff and some people may even call me extra. I do really love taking care of my staff and maybe I even worry about it slightly too much. But yeah, I've been taking care of this bag and whenever I don't use it, I always keep it in a dust bag in my closet. I even saved some of the original wrapping paper that filled the bag when it came to me. So yeah, you know, even though I think I bought it in 2019, I did. Oh my God, it's been like almost four years. That's crazy. But yeah, it's been four years and my bag still looks amazing. I have no issues with any peeling on the corners. I'm honestly surprised to hear that because I know that some of my other bags, like for example, the Longchamp tote that I had for, again, years. I have actually two of them and I did notice some peeling on the corners on those long sham totes but not on my Saint Laurent tote. Maybe because I've been using the Quiana insert, maybe because of that the bag is more structured. I'm honestly very impressed with the quality of this bag. It is made out of leather. It doesn't get scratched up easily. Like it's not one of those soft leathers that are just <laughs> awful for showing wear and tear. This bag is definitely not one of them. I think it's the perfect leather that will last you years. I mean, it's been four years, still looks amazing. So I'm sorry to hear that some people are noticing this issue. I would message Saint Laurent and, and see why that's happening. And if your bag is still on warranty, maybe they can replace, I don't know. Okay, another comment from Elisa. She is asking if the bag is full calf leather, the inside of the bag looks like microfiber. Well, yes, it's calf leather. I have another Celine bag that looks exactly like my Saint Laurent tote. It also has the suede insert. The, the inside of the bag is made out of suede. It's pretty common with uh, luxurious bags. You know, to keep it clean, like I said before, you have to have a sticky roller and that works pretty well to, for keeping it clean or just get an insert like the one from Kuyana. But yeah, it's 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 not fake leather. It's, it's a real leather and it's not microfiber. And one more thing which I wanted to mention. I bought this bag four years ago for a thousand dollars and now I see that it's going for 1500 so that's pretty amazing I, I actually didn't expect this bag to appreciate the value over time like you know with Chanel bags but it did so I'm I'm very happy about it that you know I bought it when I did like if, for example if I want to sell it right now I'm probably not gonna sell it for loss like I'm probably gonna sell it for profit especially since I you know take care of this bag and it's in really good shape so that's something to consider you know if you buy this bag you may consider it as an investment not only a beautiful accessory I'm, I'm happy that I made this purchase even though I was scared at the beginning because it's a lot of money and I didn't want to you know just spend money I wanted to buy something that is high quality that will last me years and it seems like I made the right choice Okay, so in conclusion, overall, I think the Saint Laurent tote bag is a great investment. It's beautifully designed, it's spacious, and it's made from very high quality materials. The bag retails for just below $1,500, which may seem like a steep price, but considering its durability and timeless design, I do believe it's worth every penny. I'm not planning to replace this tote bag anytime soon. It's definitely one of my favorite purchases ever. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Please leave a like. It does really help out my channel. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. Thanks for watching.